It was a beautiful afternoon across North Alabama, southern Middle Tennessee. Temperatures climbed into the low and mid 70s. We had plenty of sunshine, but all good things must come to an end. As we head into your Friday morning through your Friday afternoon, we're talking about an opportunity for severe weather. A slight risk for severe weather stands across all of North Alabama, southern Middle Tennessee. All modes of severe weather are going to be possible. Large hail, heavy rain, damaging winds, and once we get to the afternoon, there is a threat for an isolated tornado. Extra emphasis on that once we get to the afternoon because there's actually going to be two rounds of strong storms possible on Friday. The first round is going to come in the morning and the second round looks like it could come through the middle and later part of the afternoon and then early into the evening. I say could come because that second round of stronger storms is purely conditional. It might happen, but at the same time, it really might not happen. Showers and thunderstorms tomorrow are associated with a cold front. Going to drop our temperatures just a little bit as we head into the front half of the weekend. So here's what Futurecast looks like. We're going to start things off nice and early, 6, 6.30, 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. We're talking about showers and thunderstorms back across northwest Alabama. Lauderdale, Cobbert, down into Franklin County, Lawrence County. Showers and thunderstorms hanging out up across southern middle Tennessee. This activity is going to continue to overtake the Tennessee Valley by the time we get to the morning commute, 8, 8.30, 9 o'clock. We are talking about widespread heavy rain. We're also talking about widespread gusty winds across the Tennessee Valley. What does that mean for you? Well, unfortunately for you, that means the morning commute is going to be a bit of a mess. You're going to want to leave several minutes early. Allow your yourself plenty of extra time to get to work tomorrow morning because all of the major routes across the Tennessee Valley are going to be dealing with heavy rain 65 565 72 231 431 you name it there is going to be heavy heavy rain and again the potential for some gusty winds looks like this activity is going to become a little more scattered as we head into the later part of the morning and then especially just beyond the lunch hour once we get to 1 1 32 o'clock in the afternoon many of us are going to begin to dry out we could also see a few breaks in the cloud cover that would allow us to enjoy a little bit of sunshine not necessarily the greatest news if we see a little bit of sunshine our atmosphere is going to be able to recover it's going to be able to destabilize once again that means once we get to the later part of the afternoon early into the evening these discrete cells directly out ahead of the cold front are going to pack a bit more of a punch and that's where we're going to get that tornado threat across the Tennessee Valley if we see no sunshine after the morning round of showers and thunderstorms then these are not going to pack near as big of a punch. So it's completely conditional. It might happen, but there's a very good chance it might not. So it's something you're going to want to stay tuned to. We'll have updates for you not once we get to tomorrow morning. Behind that cold front, we are going to begin to dry out across the Tennessee Valley, but unfortunately through much of the first half of the weekend, it does look like we are going to hold on to a fair amount of cloud cover. We don't lose that cloud cover until we get to the back half of the weekend. Additional rainfall. Most of us looking at somewhere between one to one and a half inches of rain. That's okay. Okay. It's typically a wet month across the Tennessee Valley. Other opportunities for rain in the forecast Tuesday and Wednesday. Friday, isolated flash flooding could definitely be a concern. We might address that once we get to Tuesday and Wednesday of next week as well. Here's the weekend. Sunday going to be the definite winter. Just 60 degrees on Saturday under a mostly cloudy sky. 65 on Sunday. Plenty of sunshine on Sunday afternoon. Good thing too because Sunday is the first day of spring. Got a high right around 65 degrees. You look at the rest of the seven day forecast and it looks exactly like something you would expect in the month of March. There's some cooler days, 60 and 65, 60 degrees. By the time we get to next Thursday, there's some warmer days, 71, 73 and 75, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, and there's plenty of opportunities for some rain. That's all I got for you this evening. There's a